half butterfly pose. This is a yin posture, which means we're going to stay for quite some time, about four and a half minutes each side. So we'll start with the legs straight, wide apart, and then bring your left foot close into the groin. Relax your upper body forward. In yin poses, we always want the body to be supported. So we can use as many props as makes the posture comfortable for you. So you might want to put a half moon cushion or a blanket underneath your left hip. And you may want a bolster in front of you to rest your upper body on. It might be that two bolsters is right for you. Or a bolster and a blanket, whatever combination works for you. So you want to be fully supported. So relax your upper body forward. If you're using bolsters or cushions, you can rest either cheek on the bolster. Check your relaxing through your shoulders. Feel the whole body releasing and letting go. If you have problems with your knees, you may not like to bend forward. This might be uncomfortable for your knee, in which case you could have both legs straight and relax forward there. So this posture stretches through your lower back as well as the hamstring of the straight leg. If you're resting one cheek to the bolster, you might want to swap sides to turn the head the other way to prevent getting neck ache. So the energetic benefits, it stimulates the urinary bladder, the liver and the kidney lines. The joints affected are your hips, spine and knees. If you have sciatica, you may want to raise the hips so you could sit on a half moon cushion or a bolster, a blanket. Make sure you're really relaxing into the posture. A nice steady breath. Trying to let your mind follow your breath. Letting go of the usual busyness and chattering. So we'll gently start to come up. So lift your upper body. You can move your props away. Before we go to the other side, we'll just stretch both legs forward, give them a bit of a jiggle, circle the feet, change direction, just releasing tension. And then to the other side. So both legs straight, wide, and then bring your right foot in close to the groin. Let your upper body relax forward. So you can use as many props as is comfortable for you 
Again, you can put a half moon cushion under your hip, so under your right hip this time. You can place as many bolsters, cushions, pillows in front of you to rest your chest on. You can have your either cheek to your bolster. Make the pose comfortable for you. Just relaxing into your breath. Face soft. If you're resting one cheek to the bolster, you might want to swap sides to so turn the head the other way to prevent getting neck ache. Have a few last nice, comfortable, deep breaths. Really sinking into the pose. Check your shoulders are soft. Face relaxed. So gently start to come up, take your time, there's no rush, just easing up, move your props away, have both legs stretch forward, let's just give them a bit of a jiggle, circle your feet wide, change direction. You might like to counterpose this with a twist position or come to rest in Shavasana.